We've got four games left of the season. We've got a game um, at home against Woking. Woking a second in the league at the moment. Hopes of my dreams crushed. So I can barely see what players I'm selecting, so I could be, I don't know, I could be selecting anyone. But point code, how do you think I'm going to do, mate, my friends? All right then, 13 year old, sure, I'll give you first team football. No, I don't know. Well, I, I think Eastman, edge of the box, what can they do with it? Marsh, Lemon, oh. You don't know anything about finance. When do you have to deal with finances anyway? I'm the worst football manager ever and welcome to the Sutton Scramble. And I've forgotten my glasses. Well, I haven't forgotten them. I've lost them. I don't know where they are. And so I can barely see a thing. So um, if you're there, I've, and if I squint a lot, I, uh, that, that's why. Um, and that's why I, I look basically completely like a completely different person. My, I feel like my glasses give me intelligence and they give me wisdom in terms of what I should do. So if I lose, that's why. Um, there's the disclaimer right there at the beginning, you know, not that I'm pessimistic or anything. But yeah, here we are today and it's good to have you with me today. We have got four games left of the season, just four games left. I can't believe it. And uh, we have probably got our hardest job today of the four games. We've got a game um, at home against Woking. Um, this season so far against Woking, I was having a little look. Um, if I can just arrange these, yeah, um, I'll show you how we've got on against Woking so far. We've played four games against them this, well, we will have played four games this season. So far we lost against them in the league, what, 2-1. Um, will Randall there with a the goal, I can't get to the details there, but 2-1 we lost. Um, we then drew with them also in the FA Trophy first round, um, and then in the replay we then lost 2-0, so brilliant. Woking a second in the league at the moment, so they're doing really well. Um, there you go, 40, um, 20 games they've won, 72 points. They are fighting against Morecambe for the championship. Uh, so, oh, so it's not going to be an easy game. Um, but, but, let me tell you something. Um, because um, if you look at their recent schedule and their recent form, it actually hasn't been that good. Like, look, they've, they've drawn quite a few, like in the last sort of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games, they've only won two. Um, for some reason they played a friendly there against Northwood. I wonder why they did that. Why did... Oh, you know what? That's not in order. Oh, okay. Let's look at what their actual schedule is. Brilliant. Okay, their actual schedule much better. Brilliant. <laughs> they almost get my hopes up. My hopes of my dreams crushed. Um, they... Okay, two, four, six, seven games. They won four and lost three. So actually, to be fair, even that isn't, isn't amazing. It's not amazing, is it? For, for a team who are second in the league. Um, and if you look at who they've lost against, their last game was against Solihull Mers, as in AKA Solihull Mers, who are second bottom in the league, Solihull Mers, they've just lost 1 0 to them. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's kind of good because they've lost, and against a, you know, a, a low club like me, but often after you lose a game like that, you, you are like, right, we are not going to lose this next game. And against somebody like 21st in the league, Sutton United, they're not going to go easy on us, are they? So that's what we're facing today. Um, they're facing a blind manager in that I can not I can barely see what players I'm selecting. So I could be, I don't know, I could be selecting anyone at this rate. I could be selecting like the worst players in the team. I could be selling players and getting rid of them. I don't even know. They might come in and be like, I want first team football. And I'll be like, all right then, 13 year old, sure, I'll give you first team football. Because I can't, I can't see him. So, great. So if I lose, I've got a very good excuse. Very good excuse. Um, let's go through to the match then. Let me show you how things are going in this. Um, so, just to remind you as well, this is my hardest game, as I said, against Woking. And in the final three games against Boston, uh, Stockport and Chester all of which are low in the leagues and I've looked at the other at the other matches of the other teams as well and the other teams don't have as easy a run as I have easy a run as I have um, there's I think there's a Boston versus Solihull that are you know two teams in the relegation zone but that's it apart from us and the other player teams there so I, I, I just I can't wait I can't wait man to see what this is gonna be like it's gonna be so exciting um, let me show you my team and how things are looking I'm not making many changes because I've been doing well so far. Those of you who joined me for the, that last game, 2-0 um, victory over Torquay. Come on, boys. You know what I mean? Will Randall, Dan Fitchett, my two strikers getting a goal each. Um, I have got a bit of an issue in that all of my teams seem to be getting um, 
seem to be getting yellow cards at the moment, which isn't great. But with that all in mind, let me show you my team for today. Um, we've got Ross Warner in goal, absolute hero, 6.4 rated for me. And look at the, the morale of my team here. They're all on superb or very good at least. Um, which I'm very excited by. Um, so Ross Warner in goal. We've got at the back. We've got Lawal, Hamad Lawal, who actually I do want to begin to use him in midfield. And as soon as Austin starts to lose his way, well, I'm not sure if he will to be honest, because he's playing so well. Aiden Austin on the left left midfield there. We've got two strong. Two, we've got a strong left side of the pitch um, to the point where I'm wondering, do you go like let's keep it to the left and just play through the left? Um, part of me's tempted to do that, but we'll see. And then on the right, um, we've got Dan Spence right back. And midfield, we have got um, this fella here, Spencer Johnson. Now, Spencer Johnson hasn't played as many games for me um, this season. He's on loan um, from Colchester. Uh, he's only played sort of started one game and sort of come on as a sub two games. But he looks like a fairly decent player, only 17 years old. But the reason I'm playing him is because um, his usual player in that place, where is he? George Porter, this guy here. Um, George Porter is just is losing a little bit of form at the moment, so I kind of just want to give this other guy a go. Um, Spencer Johnson does look like a good player. He does what I sort of want him to do, which let me show you his main stats: a dribbling, determination, flair, teamwork, work rate, crossings all right at eight. Um, yeah, you know, so actually he sort of does what I want him to do, which is basically get the crosses in. Um, so I'm bringing him on, trying him out, see how it goes. Um, we've got Craig Eastman and um, George Marsh in the central midfield there. Eastman isn't on the best of forms, but I, I still want to keep him in. I think he's a strong enough player to stay in anyway. George Marsh, 7.74 rating, says it all really. Average, last five games, says it all. Um, absolute legend from Spurs and he's from Spurs as well so I'm happy about that the Spurs fan do you know what I mean okay and then up front we've got Will Randall and Dan Fitchett um, just holding up that strike strike team like nobody's business I'm also keen to develop this guy here Lemon Hay Evans he hasn't played that many times for me and hasn't made much of a difference but I don't know I just get this sense that he's a good player and you look at his st stars and he's very it's three and a half stars there the coach summary there on the squad screen I think he might even be more than that Oh no, it is, it is three and a half. See, I've got to close one eye to be able to see that. Um, yeah, I've, yeah, three and a half stars. He, oh, so yeah, you know, so he's not a bad player. So I kind of want him to do well because I think he'll be a nice striker in a few couple of seasons' time. Uh, he's only young. I've got a lot of young players at the moment, which is really good. Um, so anyway, point code. How do you think I'm going to do, my my friend? Yeah. Well, yeah. No, I don't, well, I, I think. Well, I think if we give him slices of orange at half time is probably best melon might work melon might work yeah yeah all right well let's go let's go let's give them an option we'll go oranges if you want a slice of orange and melon at the at half time right you can go orange or melon right well yeah yeah it's expensive i know i know we don't have much money i know we don't have much money for things like this but you've got to keep the morale up Panko. you don't know anything about finance when do you have to deal with finances anyway oh don't give me that don't give me that Sorry, let's get on. Let's get on with the game. Let's get on with the game. Um, he puts me in such a bad mood every time, but you know, he, he's, he knows what he's talking about. Ultimately, this is a difficult. It's one of those things where, like, I know he's right, but um, striker Andy Pugh, close him down. Um, we're going to close down their attacking midfielders right and left. It looks like they are playing a four kind of. Well, what is it? I don't know what, what you'd call this a four-one-two-two-one, but it's probably something a bit more simple than that. Um, Give, give them an encouragement. Let's go for it. Come on, lads. We're the favourites, apparently, um, against this against Woking. I'm, I'm surprised out of this. Um, keen to avenge... Yes, this is it. Keen to avenge them. I'm going standard. I'm not going to go defensive or counter. I know that they are kind of probably more likely to win than we are. But I trust Sutton here. I trust them. I think we can do it. So come on, lads. Come on, lads. Pew is on the attack for Woking already. Cooper. Looks like this is an actual highlight. Oh, my goodness. This isn't a good start. Tomas. Tomasi. Crossed in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it was over everyone, including the keeper. But he didn't do anything with it. And here's Daniel now with a corner for Woking. Within a minute, they are already on the attack. Like this. this is not good. Cleared. Arthur is... Can he put it back in the box? Hopefully not. We're closing him down. Austin's gathered the loose ball. Well done, Austin. And we clear and we live to fight another day two minutes into the game. Good, good. Um, 
Okay, I don't want us to do anything m mad here. You know, I, I'm, I'd be happy with a with a draw. Obviously, I would love a win. I think if we do win, there's a possibility we could be out of the relegation zone. Oh yes. Um, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. We're gonna have to wait and see, really. Um, off the back of this two 0 win against Torquay, I'm feeling pumped though. Woking on the attack again. Ten minutes in this time. Cooper on the edge of the box. Arthur. Oh, my word. Daniel. Oh, he had all the time in the world. No one was marking him. And Daniel puts it away. Where is? Where does Daniel play? I want to see their opposition. It, yeah, Daniel's a right... You know, we're going to have to close these guys down. We're going to actually have to mark them, I think. Because Arthur and, Arthur and Daniel are already getting a lot of the ball. Um, yeah, that's... Okay, well, I'm going to even show it onto their weaker foot. In fact, I'm going to show it onto their weaker foot. I'm not going to mark them. No, I am going to mark them. I'm going to. I'm just going to mark them for now because already they've had a lot of the play. Um, we're actually not doing bad. We've got 55% of the possession here, so that's all right. Um, come on, boys! Come on, do something with it this time. It's 25. It's 25 minutes. We we've barely. We haven't had a. Um, you know, we haven't had a thingy yet. We haven't had a, a, a highlight, and we've dropped down in the league. We're now 22nd. Southport have jumped ahead of us. Um, four points between, well, two points between Austin Barrett. Here's Daniel with a free kick, hit straight against the wall. Well done, solid defending. Come on, Spence has got onto it. Bang it up the pitch, mate. That's it. Randall is onto it on the halfway line. Oh. Nothing, 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 nothing's happening. Pinecone. But do you want to watch it? You can watch if you like as well. I did this on a stream the other day. Had the old Pinecone in. If you don't follow me on Twitch. Streaming at worst football manager ever. Here's Randall on the sprays it wide. Great pass to Johnson. Johnson, what can he do with it? Spence, Spence over to Austin. He's got all the space in the world over here. What can he do with it? Into Eastman, Craig Eastman, Marsh, Randall, Vincent. Oh, oh, he held on to it. Cole. So first chance and first highlight of the match. Really, it's not good. Tuomasi, Tuomasi, Schronecker. Cooper, end of the box, close them down, close them down, close them down. That went over, oh my word, I, I, I was just like in shock, <laughs> I was in shock then. I didn't know, I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, Hamad Lawal is not playing well today, neither is Dan Spence, neither is Dan Fitchett. Going pine cone, did you, see, did you see that? Oh my word, half time, this is, a, this is not good, come on. I expect to see a much better showing from you in the second half. This was not good. They're looking fired up. This is good stuff. Okay, right. What we need to do is look for the overlap, I think. Um, tempo. Yeah, let's pick up the tempo a little bit, eh? No, 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 no. No, we won't. No, we won't. No, we won't. We'll stay at the normal tempo. Um, yes. 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 I feel okay now. I feel okay. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Second half. Neither team have had too many shots on goal, but it's um, they have had more of it. They've just had more of it. Simple as that. But already we've got gathering the ball up a bit here. Is um, Austin bringing it forward? Plays it into Marsh. Marsh back to Austin. Austin is is he going to try and take him on? No, he's not. Back to Eastman. Eastman plays it back to Marsh. Midfield work. Oh, and they've lost the ball. Come on, poor place to lose the ball. And now oh and. Looks like Woken were trying to counter-attack there, but our midfield got back. But that was poor. Dan Fitchett is really not having a good game. Neither is Dan Spence on a 6.2. Come on, boys. Do something. Do something. Okay, 53 minutes gone. We're still just not really doing much with this. I'm gonna, we're going to go into control. Just take a little bit more control of the game, I think, we need to do here. Um, I'm wondering whether we should take Dan Spence off. He's not having a good game. Neither is Fitchett. Um, we've got Spence on the right of right back you know what I don't think I think it's probably more likely if I bring on a striker I think they're more likely to have a bit of an impact in the game here Levin Havens let's go passionate um, I completely believe what you've got what it takes come on mate come on the lemon if he can pull it off for me today the lemon will get an official nickname that's that said to him, Lemon. I said to him on the, as he goes on the pitch. If you, you want a nickname, mate, you want to be part of the gang, and you want a nickname, then get out there, get me a goal. That's what I need from him. Um, let's see if he takes that. If he takes hold of that. Um, here's Lawal. Here's Lemon. 
Lual. Eastman. Edge of the box. What can they do with it? Marsh. Lemon. Oh. Created a chance at least. The lemon is onto it. Come on, lemon. Ah, oh, and we've, they've lost it. And Woking on the attack. Now Dyer, Arthur. Great challenge from Spence. Well done, mate. Oh, and Randall is through. He's got all the space in the world. What's he going to do with it? Ah, oh, blocked shot. Clark blocks it, and it's um, cleared. Now here's George Marsh with a corner. What will happen now? Oh, Clark again clears it. Come on, we're putting some pressure on him now. Come on, Austin. This time with a corner. Oh, why did somebody different take the corner? I haven't really put much work into the corners. This, that's on. That's an honesty bit for you there. There's Spence Harding. We've still got it. We're putting some pressure on him now. This is good stuff. See so what? I'm just going to pause it and give him a bit of a give a bit of an encouragement again. Come on. You know, actually, I'm doing a turn push forward. I think. We're, we are beginning to put some pressure on. It felt like that now. We've had a couple of a couple of decent attacks. Right, I'm tempted to go into attack. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, everyone. We're going into attack. Okay, come on, boys. 83rd minute, 84th. Come on, time's ticking on. Woking are on the attack now. Oh, dear. Allen, edge of the box. Close him down before he shoots. Offside. He's offside. Every day, mate. Every day. You can do that any day, man. 86, mate. Come on. Time's running out. I just don't feel that one... <gasps> Here's the lemon. What's he going to do with it? Takes it round. Oh, almost... And he's... Lawal is on the left. Great ball through. Oh, get onto the back of that. Get it back in the box. Come on. Through to Randall. He's on his own in the box. Oh. 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 Come on. Spence. Randall, he's in the box. They want this. They want this. You can see Johnson with the cross. No one's in there to get onto the end of it. And what was Lawal doing running? Did you see that? Lawal running over there. There's not much time left. Come on. I'm going to... I'm tempted to go overload. Overload it. We are on overload. So either they're going to... Poku or Poku is across to Allen. Dyer... Challenger, make the challenge, good challenge at Ben Harding. Wes Harding, sorry. Not Ben Ben Harding was another player from a different club. Um Oh man. Dyer is on the attack. Great challenge. Wes Harding's there again. Come on! There's still time. Because Clark closes it down. There is still time with this. You just get this sense. You just get a feeling, don't you? Cotton. Cleared from Wes Harding is playing out of his skin here. He is just not letting this go. Here's the lemon. Marsh. Austin. Oh. Right, it's saved. Oh, guys. You know, they've put their all into this last bit of the game, haven't they? He's back with. There is still time. Marsh. Come on, boys. He's Austin. The lemon. Austin. The wall. Get the cross. Oh. <laughs> is that a corner? Or it's a throw. Looks like it's the end of the game. Spence with the throw. Looks like this is it. Get the crossing. Quick. Quick. Oh, it's gone off. Free kick. That's it. You know what? We were unlucky there. Crowd were booing. Um, I don't know why. I think they actually played all right. George Marsh got man of the match. We ended up playing okay. Um, Lemon did all right. <laughs> is he worthy? Is he worthy? Is he worthy of a real nickname yet? I'm not so sure yet. I'm not so sure. So it's like the lemon question mark. Is he? Okay. Um, make that crystal clear to the team. Um, we should have won that. But you know what? I just feel like putting the result aside, that was a ple pleasing performance, actually. I think we, we didn't deserve 1-0. We I think we deserved a draw out of that. Um, so where does that leave us, man? With three games to go in the season, in two games' time, or two days' time, sorry, I've got Boston, bottom of the league. Um, so boys are going to have to pick themselves up after today's game because that is... It's tough. It is tough, Pinecone. Pinecone is tough. What are we going to do? What we, We're going to win games. That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. Um, let's, let's see where we're at in the league. Let's see what the points are looking like as we go into our final three games. We are now not top of the relegation zone. We are second from top. Barrow are on 42 points. There are two points, or one point between us and Barrow. 
three points between four points between us and Chester. Oh boy, oh boy. Um, Boston are not looking good. They they've got quite a quite a jump to make. Really, seven points between them and Barrow. So it looks like they might be relegated. But Solihull, Mers, us and Southport here, all looking all in the fight. Look at the fight. The fight will take place there. And uh, we're just going to have to see how it goes. We're just going to have to see how it goes. Um, my, my. Uh, what uh, 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 what some games we've got. Boston, Southport, Chester. And, uh, man, I, I genuinely do not know. After a game like that, I think we could do it. But we're going to have to play well if we're going to get it or not. I don't know. But anyway, that will do for today. Join me tomorrow for some more Sutton Scramble as we go into this game against Boston. Bottom of the league. We should win it. But we're going to have to make sure we pull out, pull it out of the bag. Um, leave your comments below with any thoughts you've got. How I can improve this side. What do you think I'm missing here? Is there anything I can do with the tactics or something like that? Any any other players that I should be playing instead of others? Um, do let me know. Let's see how Spencer Johnson did in that game. Um, oh well, well, I didn't really sort of see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. His last game was what? He played a 6.8. Not bad. Not bad. Um, but anyway, that's it for now. Uh, until next time, when we play Boston, uh, I'll see you later.